Europe's emphatic Ryder Cup win was still fresh in the mind as the European Tour touched down in St Andrews, Carnoustie and Kings Barnes for the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship. Everyone was full of praise for the job done by triumphant captain Paul McGinley, but much of the conversation centred around who would be his and Tom Watson's successors at the 2016 clash at Hazeltine National. Who would I think would be the right man? Um, well, I'm obviously st still available and would, would enjoy the, the opportunity um, to, to be captain. And other than that, I mean, you've got Darren Clark, uh, Jimenez, but I think Jimenez might be a little bit restricted because of his language barrier. I would say in America, you have to have somebody that won in America, so I would say either Darren Clark or Pat Arrington, it's an Irish story, I think. They both have, you know, the, the, the pedigree as a captain. They've both been in teams that have lost and won the Ryder Cup. They've been in losing teams and winning teams. They have so much experience, you have to give it to them. To me, it's becoming increasingly clear um, that, that Darren would be probably the right fit. I've, I've heard an awful lot of support for him and, and uh, having been a vice captain previously, not this time, but uh, that, that's always going to work in his, in his favor and his popularity in, in America. Of course, we're half Irish over there, so uh, anyone of Irish blood will, will do. All of the more experienced guys out here, they, they deserve their, their chance at one point. And, uh, whether it's going to be in two years' time for Patrick or, or Darren, uh, the, the day will come for them anyway. The American one, you would have thought going, going into this year it would have been easy and now it's increasingly difficult. I, I don't think anyone has got a good sense of who they're going to pick as their captain until they sort out how they're going to go about picking them. I think there's a real movement right now to get away from, from the PGA of America having sole control uh, over a group of players in which they have no interaction except for three times every two years, PJ Championship and every other year, um, the Ryder Cup. I mean, if you look at, at what Europe's done, and, and let's look at McGinley, he wasn't chosen by a club pro, and that's basically what we have in America right now. So once they sort that out, I think it becomes a little more clear. The captains make a big difference. You see him everywhere. Uh, he comes and walks with us on the practice rounds. He comes and uh, talk with us on the range, you know, and if someone, does well and has a chance to go to get into the team here he'll, he'll come and talk to you and encourage that you know push on you, you have a good chance to make it in there so and what I've heard from the from the players this year um, he's done a fantastic job he's got everything everything right from the team room to the pairing so you know it's well done for him yeah, I think they need to learn about all the mistakes they do and uh, you know they, they need to understand that uh, Letting uh, Phil Mickelson out on a Saturday, they don't understand that Phil Mickelson is a big threat for, for the Euro Europeans. When you look at what Phil did, uh, he played pretty good in that Ryder Cup, he won matches and uh, it's just always strange not to play him on, at all on Saturday. You know, he, you could rest him, if you want to rest him, just talk to him before the Ryder Cup. Look Phil, how many matches you want to play? Because he's one of your leaders and if your leaders don't feel comfortable, then you have a, you have a problem in the locker already. Azinger is getting a lot of uh, attention right now. Uh, my own opinion, I, I think Azinger should be the first person that Derek Sprague, who's the new PGA president, calls, not so much to hire him, but just to listen to him. Because his ideas are the ones that work. His ideas, I think, made Europe nervous. Because all of a sudden, America looked like Europe uh, as it relates to the Ryder Cup. They, they had a concept of, of not me, but we. Uh, it works brilliantly for, for Europe. And, and it only worked that one year um, at Valhalla. And frankly, Davis had a lot of it too at Medina, and you'd have to say it worked perfectly at, at, at Medina. At least, I mean, if you throw out Justin making a 45-foot putt and Ian Poulter making everything, um, Davis did a brilliant job that week. Ten to six, who wouldn't want that? So that's the format that works, and I think that's the direction they have to go. It's, it's just a matter of who. Steve Stricker was brought up to me about three months ago. Steve would work just because he's smarter than than, than he looks. Um, that didn't come out the right way. Steve doesn't watch this, does he? <laughs> I think I think Steve is, the, is regarded as the nicest guy, but he's but he's got some he's got some spirit to him, uh, which would help, and he and he's got total uh, involvement with the players. Fred Couples would be ideal, but you have to wonder if Fred's time hasn't passed. They blew it by not having Fred in 2006. Zinger coming back, I, I don't think that would be good for Zinger. Why in the world would you want to damage what is a reputation that is getting enhanced with every American loss? All you can do is go down. Um, so I'm not sure I'd bring Zinger back, I'd just bring his ideas back.